Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my F1 2019 modded career mode here today for the Bahrain Grand Prix run number two of the season, season six to be exact, so we're quite a way in now, but if you guys missed round one at Australia and the season opener and all the new mods that came with it, then go watch the video guys by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of your screen to go see exactly what happened in the first race. But today we are here at Bahrain and first of all you can see on screen in terms of the weather forecast, no rain is expected this weekend so that's good news for us in terms of developments we do have three upgrades for durability on the car and all of them are going to hopefully help us try and get through the entire season on the three power units and uh, we've got one for the ICE one for the MGUH and the other is for the electrical systems aka the control electronics and then of course that translates into the R&D tree and uh, no teams have actually brought any upgrades yet so everything stays exactly the same going into this weekend here at Bahrain so yeah overall a good start to the weekend for us seemingly nobody improving their car so hopefully we'll will remain competitive as we now move into qualifying and again we went through practice car felt pretty good having said that i was a little bit unsure about the stability i had a little bit of you know just inconsistency with the car handling but in qualifying um, this was my first of three runs and i've got to say it wasn't the best session our first one got severely compromised here by i believe roman grosjean in the torosso and eventually we had contact and ended up spinning out of turn two and losing an end plate so not the best start in this qualifying session really not ideal Grosjean did get a five second uh, I believe grid drop or sorry five place grid drop for that so Grosjean getting punished fairly by the game but in terms of our second run this time we managed to get through turn one two and three unscathed but this time I made the smallest error and I've slowed it down here because I got done for track limits which was the smallest possible thing that could have happened but we still you know, got called for track limits, which was really, really unfortunate, and it ruined our second attempt, so not ideal for us. So we then move on to our final set of tyres and our final attempt here in qualifying, and this time we avoid the traffic as we go to turn one. We get the apex absolutely perfectly, but we're not out of the woods yet. Unfortunately for us, I get a little bit of oversteer, and that just sends me wide and means we invalidate the lap once again, so really not good and so far not up on the board with a minute 40 to go but luckily for us i had just about enough fuel and time to get around for another lap so i'm gonna leave you guys with the full lap here of bahrain and i'll be back after this lap for the full qualifying results Here we go then, DRS open up to the line and where is the lap going to put us? And I believe it's only going to be ninth place, so not the best lap. My final sector was pretty piss poor and just generally a really sloppy session. You know, we just didn't find any rhythm, you know, too many errors, too many issues, you know, whether it be Grosjean, track limits, or me just getting a bit loose with the rear end of the car. And yeah, we just couldn't really maximize the session, which was really, really unfortunate for us. And it really showed we got no clean running in. And uh, the best I could do on one lap was a 23-0, which is far off the pace. You know, we definitely had pace to at least be second or third you know especially fourth we definitely could have got fourth place without a doubt so yeah not the best start to the weekend and we've got it all to do in the race tomorrow starting from ninth place on the soft tires as well that's not going to be great but the grid is as follows with Verstappen P1 Kvyat in second on the front row then we've got Perez Leclerc up in P4 and Haas really really impressive from him Hamilton Russell Sainz Vettel myself and Gasly running out the top 10 and then outside the top 10 we have Valtteri Bottas followed by Kimi Raikkonen so both of the finished drivers on row six 
and then behind them we've got Magnussen and Hulkenberg, both of those guys in the Renault, and then Albon, Giovinazzi, Norris, Ricardo, Stroll, and Grosjean last place, and also with a plus five grid penalty, which is going to mean nothing because he's starting from the back anyway. But either way, that is it for qualifying here at Bahrain, and we're now going to move into the race. Right, here we are then on the grid for the Bahrain Grand Prix, starting from ninth place. And we've got it all to do here on Sunday to try and turn this around and get ourselves into some good points. Because at the minute, we're not where we want to be. And uh, starting this far down, the pressure's on to try and perform. So in terms of the strategy for this race, we are going to start on the soft tyres that we qualified on. And we're going to do a soft, soft, medium in principle. Having said that, I may change to a soft, medium, medium, depending on how the, the soft tyres hold on. If I don't like them, then I might get into the medium tyres. And in terms of fuel we are running one lap extra there is an outside chance as well that i may be able to go soft onto the hard tire and go all the way to the finish but that remains to be seen if i can pull that off so we'll see how that goes either way we're going to see if we can somehow make a one stopper happen if i could that would be the better strategy for us here today so that's what i'm kind of hoping for if we have to go for a two stop we're going to be very aggressive so let's jump into it and let's see how we get on and judge it on a lap by lap basis as we now get racing here for round two for the bahrain grand prix right here we go the lights are coming on here at Bahrain. Can we get a good start? Five lights are on. And away we go. And it is a good start from us. Picking up a lot of wheel spin though in the second phase. That wasn't good. We're going to go to the outside here into turn one. And try and make that work. Gasly making a move in the alpha on the inside. We are going to go all the way around the outside though and recover the position. Sebastian Vettel a bit slow off of turn two. We are going to get the run on the alpha as we go to the outside. I'm going to switch across to the inside line and try and protect the position we just about back out there from signs we almost got our nose chopped off but we do manage to recover and actually get ourselves into eighth place so we get past the head of both Alfa Romeos we're now behind Carlos Sainz of course in the McLaren Red Bull leads I'm guessing of course that's Max Verstappen we've got Carlos Sainz in front here in the McLaren so let's try and get past him nice and quickly and then we've got our racing point and after that it's Charles Leclerc in the house very good qualifying from him very impressive indeed but he may be a bit slow and may lack a little bit of pace. So let's see if we can try and keep up with these guys and let's see if we can get a few moves done here. We seem to be lacking a little bit of pace at the minute. Not quite there just yet. Verstappen set the pace 26.1 as DRS will now be enabled on this lap. Yellow flag, I believe it's behind us. Someone's had an issue. Luckily for us, we are within DRS of Carlos Sainz in front of us here as we make our way up towards turn four, so that's good news. It is just a car behind us, Antonio Giovinazzi. In the out front, no, in the Mercedes, sorry. First retirement, no safety car though, of VSC. It looks like that racing point in third place is starting to hold everybody up, so this is our chance to close them, these guys, and try and make up some ground. This DRS train is not good for us. I might go for an early stop. Maybe try and undercut all of these guys. So I have got the medium tire selected. Like I said, I could do a double medium tire stint which might be a good option for us in terms of jumping all this traffic. And we could pit now, and we can still get to the end, no problem. So I might consider it. We'll see. Depends how this lap goes in terms of traffic. But I do think if I don't pass anyone this lap, we are going to pit and try a different strategy. Right, we're going to pit. Turn the engine down here. There's too many cars in front, and there's too much of a DRS train to kind of benefit from. So we are going to box. Get it all slowed down to the 80 and there we go. Hopefully we can benefit from this. If I can find some clean space on track, we should have a benefit of a fresh tire. So let's push. Two seconds flat, 2.045. So not too shabby, but we're going to try and go flat out now a couple of laps. I've given myself enough time that I can make a difference on these tires, I feel like. So we need to give it everything now on this. It might mean that the cars in front of me do go soft tyres again at some point, so we may be at a disadvantage. But if I can get track position, I'd be happy about that, especially if I can get track position and also be a second clear out of the RS range. That would really help us out. Seems like nobody's pitting just yet. Bottas is the next car, and he seems to be battling with Grosjean. Personal best from us, though. Good pace. Let's see if we can try and improve upon that this lap. Okay, okay Fiat pits. Here we go. Let's see how this pans out. Pace is good. Another better lap from us on for another personal best. It's been consistent pace. Easy does it. There we go. A little bit too early on the, on the power there, but we are still going to set a personal best. Engine turn up to full power here to maximize the straight. Cars leaving the pit exit right now. 
I see Russell there in the red ball. There's Kofia. We're just about turning on signs, so we do get ahead of the McLaren. So that's good news for us. So the undercut has worked. Let's see if we can try and get ourselves onto Russell's DRS this lap, if possible. Also, it seems like AI have gone for mediums, which is also good for us because they're on the same time, which is something I can manage. Okay, I'm expecting more cars in the pits. And there they are, leaving the pit exit now. Let's see where we are. Just P15 for now. Fiat side by side with Grosjean in the Toro, so a little bit further up the road. Meanwhile, Russell's trapped in behind Bottas and hard tyres as we start to close in. It does feel like, though, I'm lacking a bit of pace. I'm barely able to pull away from the signs behind, so it seems like we do lack a bit of rhythm as we pick up our first warning for track limits in this race. And also, not as many cars have pit as I expected. Some of the leaders may be trying to stretch it out to a one-stop strategy on the soft tyre, which is very ambitious, but it is possible. It just means we're going to lose out some ground. Let's see if there's anyone else in the pit lane this lap. That was Perez there on the pit exit. So we do get in front of him. Leclerc behind us. He's on soft tyres in the house. So we've got Perez on hards, signs on mediums, and uh, Leclerc on softs, it seems. So a, a nice mix. That's Gafiat here and Grosjean battling away and also Russell struggling to get past Bottas but Gafiat has hit the front. Let's try and follow him if we can and make a few positions up. Bottas is slow on these hard tyres. Right, let's get past Valtteri here. Russell can't quite get past Grosjean which is good news for us. It means he stays within range for us to overtake him. As I get close to Bottas, very close to him, I'm just going to hand back. And now we can go for the overtake. We can try and get it on the straight. And we should still get DRS on the next one. Here we go. On the inside. Bottas locks up as we go down the inside. Nice, tidy move. Grosjean in front has DRS. I don't think Russell does. So this could continue this battle. Another racing point. This time Lewis Hamilton leaving the pit lane as we gain on these two. Now towards turn one. Easy does it. Let's see if we can get something here. These two are going to be side by side. No momentum. We are on the outside. Not much room. Just about managing to squeeze through there. We lock up the left front. Can we hang it around the outside of Grosjean? Yes, we can. But Grosjean's still there. I'm going to go all the way around the outside, though, and take it into the S's. And we get ahead of the Frenchman. Run that in a little bit. One to the hairpin. But there we go. Job done. And we are through. But Russell stays in front. I've been able to keep myself in Russell's DRS, crucially. So we're managing to keep the pace. Because I'm struggling to match his rhythm. So the DRS is keeping me there, which is exactly what I want it for. Bit of debris here at turn one. Not sure who from, but Kvyat's going to hit the traffic first. Hopefully he has no issues. I may have dropped out of the DRS range here. Russell's got a slipstream on the Williams in front, which is going to help him. If I can hang on the DRS, that would be perfect. I think I have done enough. Yes, I have. Thank God for that. Right, let's see what happens here as uh, we observe from a distance. They've both got DRS though, so it's going to be a drag race down to the first corner. Run it in a little bit deep on the brakes. But nice and tidy there through the first corner. Can we get past Straw? Nothing we can. He has got DRS, which is going to make it very difficult for me to get past. Stroll back at his former team, of course, at Williams. Let's see if we can get him through here. This is a strong section for me. The S's. Oh, we almost run to the back of him. That's going to ruin momentum. But we still continue on. Down the inside. He gives me a massive squeeze onto the apex there, but we do get past. I'm going to give him the squeeze on the exit. A bit more of a train in front. It seems like this two top strategy has a lot of traffic involved with it. Okay, cars pit in. That releases me, Kvyat, and Russell. As we recover a few places, we're now up to P6 in this race. Looks like Russell's going to get past Kvyat here because of the traffic. Kvyat has conceded the position. Yep, not quite sure where we are at the minute because of the different strategies. We are P5s as it stands, but I'm not quite sure if that's our position as we trial break and drift our way through turn one. But Russell takes P3 crucially, so Kvyat has to try and recover. Kvyat retakes P3 from Russell for now. Those two battling along. And it's allowing me to just close the gap a little bit on these last couple of laps. Hopefully 
we can get back within DRS range preferably and uh, that would help me out an absolute treat. Sides as well behind us keeping pace quite well in the McLaren. The staff and pits, the race leader's in. He's gone for mediums. I've gone very long on the stint to try and get myself back onto a soft tyre on the final stint preferably. It will be a used soft tyre but it's a soft tyre nonetheless so I'm trying to go very long on this and I'm trying to hang on to these guys because that would get me right back on target. Okay, there are the leader pits in the Haas. Alexander Albon up the P3. Russell and Kafiat continue to battle away here. We are pulling away from Carlos Sainz. Pace has been very consistent the last couple of laps, so I'm going to try and keep it up. I want to see if I can pit on lap 20 for soft tyres. Okay, Russell and Kafiat pit. We're staying up for one more. Personal best from me. So like I said, I'm keeping the pace. My tyres, you can see the tyre wear for yourselves. But the pace is good. Personal best from me. I'm making this work. We're snapping new fastest lap, 25.7. That's only 9 tenths quicker than my lap, so we're not doing too badly here. And there are cars behind on the hard tyre, so I'll judge the gap now. I'll look at Magnussen and Perez, see what they're doing. But I need to get this soft tyre on because we're going to have to do more overtakes in this final stint. So we've got to stretch this out and the pace is still there. So head down. We're not giving up just yet. And the minute, look at the minimap just a moment ago. Russell and Kvyat are in traffic behind a Haas and a Renault. So I'm going to stay out one more lap, which is also better for us if we're going for the soft tyres. But I feel like the pace, the pace is still there, so I'm not going to pit now. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay a little bit longer. One more lap. I feel like I'm quicker than anybody else on the track, you know, compared to those in traffic. So we've got to take this. I feel like this overcut could work. One more strong lap. We're going to use all of that ERS if we can. But this is the lap we pit into the final corner. Nice and tidy one more time. And there we go. Job done. Into the pit lane. Using all the ERS mode. Get it all slowed down to 80. And that's perfect. Soft tyres already selected. So that has been a mammoth second stint. We've really pulled it out of the bag. Here we go. 2.095. Not as fast as the first stop. Half a tenth slower. But... Hopefully it won't affect us too much. Currently P5. Raikkonen is next to go by in the Mercedes. Hopefully we can rejoin behind Hulkenberg. That's the target. Here comes Hulkenberg. And it hasn't worked out. These were the four that were battling. I was hoping to clear these guys. But it hasn't quite worked out that way. But we have got the benefit of the soft tyre. So we should be able to make it work. So let's just take it nice and easy. And uh, let's not rush into overtakes. Obviously, I want to try and get past as soon as possible. So if I see the chance, like this one here, I'm going to take it. Here we are. Let's see if I can get past Albon. Through the hill, we're going to go to the outside. Easy does it. I've got the grip on these. There we go. Fantastic move on the outside. A little bit of lag, but we do get it done. Russell going for the move on the Renault here. Of Hulkenberg into the final corner. I've got DRS, I'm at a perfect distance to make something happen, I have no extra fuel left so all I can use is DRS but Hulkenberg is DRSless and Russell as well, so they're both defenseless here. I thought about it into turn one getting them both but we'll hang back, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll try and get the switch back here. Right, let's try again, Hulkenberg, no DRS, Russell does have it, we're going to go to the outside. All the way around the outside using the soft tyres. We do get Hulkenberg. We don't quite get Russell, but that's okay. We can still get George as we go through the S's down the hill. I thought about into the hairpin, but we'll hang back for now. We'll try and get him with DRS, which will be a lot easier. Here we go then. Just sat behind Russell saving fuel. Just give me a chance. As we now go into the final corner, we've now got a little bit in the reserves. Let's get this moved on and make it definitive. Kafiat sets the pace, fastest lap. Personal best from us. I'm planning on taking away that lap from Kafiat as we walk past Russell on the straight. Car bumping all over the place. The speeds are so high now with these cars, but we do make the move up to P7. Kafiat up next, and not too shortly after that will be Kimi Raikkonen. So the hunt begins. Kafiat battling with Raikkonen. Verstappen picks up the new fastest lap, but we're going to smash that out of the park with these. Almost two seconds up. I'm trying to drop George Russell as well. 24.8. That lap will stay like that. We will pick up the fastest lap. I don't think no one's going to beat that. So that's good news. Raikkonen does actually get back past Kvyat. 
so for now, as we miss our apex for turn one. Hopefully we'll get past both of these guys on this lap, preferably. I'm already starting to lose the edge on these tyres, so I need to make this move soon. Kvyat has just got by now, definitively. So now we need to try and get past Raikkonen. And to be honest with you, a P6 plus fastest lap, I'll probably take that, to be honest. So let's focus on getting past the Iceman through the final corner. That was absolutely perfect. I think I'm too far back, though, and Kimi does still have the RS, unfortunately, on Kvyat, which is not good for us. That's going to hinder us a little bit. So I'm going to have to wait and be patient. Russell's still hanging on behind me. He's being patient in the other Red Bull. He knows he's going to get his chance once my tyres fade. Nice exit through there, though. But Raikkonen still has the RS on Kofi which is really frustrating. But we are starting to get really close to the Iceman now. And, of course, we've got the benefit of the soft tyres compared to his hard tyres. Easy does it through there. I may get the chance down to the apex thought about it big lock up a little bit of lag as well which stopped me from going for that move okay here we go then this will be a more definitive move into the final corner open up the line there we go pick up that late apex nice clean exit russell is lurking behind us he's going to get the double slipstream but we should have enough behind kimmy to get the job done here we go to the outside and job done a little bit hot on the brakes but we'll get under control and there we go up to P6. Can we try and snatch P5 from our teammate in the closing stages? Or will we not have enough time in a lap and a half to do it? Here we go then. Last lap of the race now. Onto the back straight. And it is going to be P6 as the fireworks go off for Max Verstappen. He wins here in Bahrain. And it was a very good win for him. But a very close one. A lot of cars in the mix for the win today. But it is going to be P6 for us. And we do pick up the first lap of the Grand Prix. And I'll take that. That's okay. Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Right, so looking at the final race results, Max Verstappen wins it here today for Red Bull. Kevin Magnussen, the surprise package of the race in P2 for Renault on the one-stop strategy, beating Sergio Perez to the podium. Racing point three and four with Perez beating Hamilton, and then it's a Ferrari five six with Kvyat and myself there. And then we've got uh, Kimi Raikkonen P7 ahead of George Russell with Sainz and Leclerc running at the top ten. And we do pick up the extra point for the fastest lap here today. In terms of those outside the top ten, we've got Hulkenberg, Bottas, Norris. Vettel, Gasly, Ricardo, Albon and uh, Grosjean, Stroll and Antonio Giovinazzi, the only retirement of the Grand Prix today, but both Alfa Romeo's a very poor race once again and out of the points, but in terms of the standings after that race, Verstappen takes the lead and is 8 points clear at the top of the table we drop down to 2nd place, but we're still 5 points clear of Perez and 15 clear of Lewis, speaking of which, Lewis and Kvyat tied on 20 points apiece, and then we've got Magnussen all the way up to P6 with that 2nd place finish, and then overtaking George Russell and also Kimi Raikkonen to get himself into the top 10, but in terms of the constructor standings Standings. We are down to second place as Red Bull overtake us for top spot and racing point not too far behind and still breathing down our necks and the top three are as you'd expect but guys that is going to be it for this video here today and this episode of Korea if you guys enjoyed it drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 content and also check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them finally turn notifications guys to miss out any future content from me and I'll see you on my next episode very soon for the next race at China but until then it's goodbye from me.